Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mix Mowers and happy Easter. Let me turn it down a touch. So happy Easter everybody. Do you get any Easter eggs? Uh, yeah, I got you what I'm a puppy paw. Oh yeah, we, we just put the paddling pool out, that's now sure spent. You know, we'll, we'll show them in a minute, right when we go outside, yeah? Because oh, we'll go outside in a bit. Hello, Daddy. Thank you, buddy boy. So Hi, happy Easter, Riley. You. And happy Easter to all of you. Also, a massive, massive... Easter holiday. Yeah, not only that, a massive happy birthday. Hi, buddy. Doug Sweener. <gasps> God, happy birthday. Shall we sing Doug happy birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday happy to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to Doug. Trina. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Fantastic. So happy birthday, Doug. So that's cool. Um, right, in today's video, we got a little bit of a pickle actually. Why? Um, because Dad sold a lawnmower to somebody. Um, it was all tested and, and what have you when it went out. However, a couple of days later, I got a phone call to say the lawnmower now won't start um, and it can't even pull the pull cord. So it's a bit strange. I have a suspicion what's happened. I think they've tipped up on its side. However, they really weren't happy with it, so I drove all the way down, swapped the lawnmower over, um, and took the other one back. And I haven't touched the lawnmower since it's come back. So we're going to look at that today because I believe it's not anything we've done to it. I think it's something they might have done to it. So that's my suspicion. So, if we can't get it fixed, Riley, Dad's got his whacking stick here. What's that do? This is what we, we use. If you can't get a lawnmower working, if in doubt, give it a clout. That's exactly what we're going to do. But I've got a suspicion we get it working. So, without further ado, let's get down and let's get dirty and let's try and fix this little lawnmower. What's ya? So we've got a little paddle pull up and running? Yeah. Haven't we? Is it warm or is it cold? Daddy. Have a feel. Really warm. It's really warm? Yeah. Well, it's a bit more filling up yet. Yeah. And then that'd be ready to go, so that'd be good. Right, let's get the uh, lawnmower over here. Yay! Uh, what one do we want? This flat one, Riley. Why? This is the one we're after. You want? Yeah, the new one. What can I do? Daddy? Daddy? Yeah? Not yet, mate. Don't pump it yet. Oh. Let's get the Honda out of the way because that one's done. Ready to work. So here we have a McCall Star three, uh, 400, 450 series um, yeah. Briggs flathead. And as you can see, with a dead man's handle pulled in, that's that's locked. Can't can't pull that at all. Absolutely solid. So this is quite common with these type of lawnmowers. Um, lots of people hand them in because they think the engine's actually seized. So we're gonna check the oil and uh, we'll do a bit of investigation before we do any further work. Right, so the first thing I wanna do is check the oil to make sure that the engine is actually not seized yeah. and it's got oil in the system. Yeah. Now, I'm already seeing signs that it has got oil in, in the system. Yes, I'll show you Riley boy. Let's walk up, give it a wipe. Don't fall over that Honda, let's push that Honda out of the way in case you fall over it. There you go, that's better. I'll give it a wipe, put that back in the hole, oh. do that up. Oh, gee. Yeah, I'll take it back out and show you. Daddy. It's always pays to wipe it first. Daddy. Hang on, mate, yeah, just taking it out. And as you can see, it's absolutely bang on where it needs to be. Bang. Absolutely up to the, the line. So that's a good sign. But if you look down here, yeah. I can see oil. Did you? Now that oil, I'm hoping, is coming out of the exhaust and not out of the head. As I say, this lawnmower was running before it went away. I'm not seeing any oil coming out the bottom. I want to take the air filter off as well just so sometimes if they're tipped up 
bees will be full of oil as well. Yeah, yeah covered, yeah. covered in gunk. Did he? Now this lawnmower wasn't serviced before it went out, <coughs> but that's got fresh oil all over it. Yeah. This is part of the job lot, and also I can see oil inside the um, inside the carburetor. Let me try and get you in a bit closer. If I can, right inside there, there's all inside there as well. So that, took, that, that confirms my suspicion. So what do we do? The engine's completely seized up. There's a very, very simple fix. Then we just grab some tools and we'll fix it. Now I just want to alliterate that this lawnmower was running before it went out. And I had it running, all my lawnmowers that I do sell, I either sell them as serviced or as running, one or the other. And uh, this lawnmower come to me, it was already running, and I ran this lawnmower for a good 20 minutes. So it got a start from, from cold, ran for 20 minutes, and then a start from hot after about a minute's rest. So to fix this, um, it's a very, very simple fix indeed. Just remove the HT lead, grab your plug spanner, undo the plug, lots of oil on the plug. Place a rag underneath the head. I'm going to out of the way so we can see better. That's better. And now I'm going to give this engine a few pulls over. Not hard, just nice and gently. As you can see, we've got oil now coming out of the head. So, I'm just now going to go away and clean this spark plug up, get rid of the oil off of it, and give it a tidy up, and I should come back. Right. <clears throat> so, now we're about done. So, get grab my spark plug. I've got a brand new air filter there as well. Put that on. And the screw. I'm gonna let the spark plug inside the shed, I'll go and get it. And tick. <clears throat> Let's go and grab a spark plug. And I've gapped the spark plug as well. To give it much more of a fighting chance, the gap is too big. Took a little bit of oil coming out of there. This lawnmower's gonna smoke once it starts. Let me get a rag, tidy it up, and we'll try and start it. Right, I just moved the lawnmower down the bottom of the garden out of the way. And then I'm just going to fire this lawnmower up, see if it'll start. Let's just check the fuel. Yeah, plenty of fuel in there.
So she's running. Yeah. She's chucking so much oil out. Yeah. It's not even funny. So I'm getting some fresh petrol. Yeah. And then we come back and try it again. It's got so much oil coming oil. out. It's not even funny. Okay, so I still can't get it to run. However, if we look at inside here, it's full up with oil. Absolutely full to the brim. So I'm going to empty it out and then um, we put a new gasket diaphragm on it, clean the carburetor out and hopefully it should run again. But it's absolutely covered in oil, the whole lot. So there's no way oil can get into there unless it's tipped up. So just want to clean this all out and then uh, I'll come back. And as you can now see, I'll tip it up slightly. Nice and clean inside now. So it stands a much better chance of firing. Let's just check out the carburetor. Don't lose any of these screws if I can. The gas don't too bad, but because it's been contaminated now, I'm going to take it off. And if you look underneath here, we've now got oil all in here. All in here. The filter is absolutely clogged with it. All here. They didn't tip it up apparently. Do you know what? I don't believe them. I think they're telling me porky pies is. I've been in the game far too long. Far too long. So this one now is blowing off with a, with a air compressor, WD-40 in. The main jet's got to come out. This one here, a little screwdriver in here. Take it all out, clean it all off, and put it back together. So get a quick clean out now with the air compressor and with some WD-40 or even just some neat petrol just to break it all down, get rid of the oil, and then uh, I'll come back to you all. Okay, that's a lot cleaner now. I had to soak the uh, carburetor in, um, in neat petrol to uh, get rid of most of the debris stuff. So I've got a spring in there while I'm retrieved back out. I can't get hold of it. Shouldn't have put it in there really. There it is. That spring goes just on there, like so. Little metal galls, I got replaced one in the end because it was just so covered in, in fuel in the oil it was wasn't even silly. New gasket and diaphragm. Just fresh out the packet. Uh, diaphragm on first. Followed by the uh, gasket. And a carburetor, just hold it down loosely, put it into place. Don't be too concerned about lining it up for now, just gently work the screws in, they'll find home eventually. Doing a cross pattern that way, you'll ensure you don't pinch the gasket or diaphragm. Once they've pushed, pushed down, give it a bit of a wiggle just to ensure they've all gone down. Just do them up. And again, using a cross pattern method. So yeah, some people are just not very honest. This wasn't sold as service, it was sold as running. And there's no way that I would have sold it like this. Oh, there you go. That's what it's all about, I suppose. They swapped it with another lawnmower I had anyway, so they're, they're pleased. They've, they've probably learnt a lesson. After I told them not to tip it up sideways, I'd always tell them with these type of briefs, tip it up backwards only, and then leave it for 10, 15 minutes after you've, uh, you've done that. And that's what we nicked down, just Go over it again, just ensure it's all down. Riley's getting excited because the pool's nearly ready. Right, with that done there, oh, last one. All I want to do, turn it round and just ensure it's priming, which it is. You can see fuel being shot out the back. So that's good. And now I can just fit this new 
diaphragm gasket carburetor set to the um you right Riley boy? Yeah. They weren't very honest were they? Yeah. They were telling dad porkies weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Little tiny governor spring assembly hooks onto the front of his arm and it all goes on in one movement. Line up the little tiny rubber elbow and onto the intake. That all goes in together. A little fret bolt in the front. Snip that in and push your foot in the mill into there. Do that one up. Change to a 13. Do that one up. Make sure the arm is moving. New air filter. You can see the whole thing is just covered in oil. The whole thing. Put my um, air filter screw, which is down by my feet. That goes in. That carburetor stood no chance of firing with that amount of oil inside the well. It may smoke for a bit, I'll have to put some neat fuel in. I might have to drain the entire tank out yet. But we'll see. Right, let me put down the bottom of the garden again and we'll try and fire it again. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of a better result this time. Three pumps of fuel. Okay, that's running. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, let this engine run for about about five ten minutes until all the smoke clears and it's burnt all this excess oil off, and I'll come back and show what's running like after that. Okay, so there you go, it just goes to prove a point. I have been in this game far too long to be told porky pies, haven't we? Um, and, and it's a terrible shame because I sold that mower in good faith, for the best, I saw it all running and what have it, and it really does knock me when people try to pull the wool over my eyes like that. Cheers, mate. So, let's have a quick, a quick drink. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I want to Hey? I want to But there you go, that's the, uh, that's the calibre of some people, unfortunately. So just to reiterate, you know, if you're, especially your Briggs and Stratton, especially, um, although the, the RB150s and um, SVs do do exactly the same. Do do? Yeah, they do, yeah. Who? Uh, the engine sees. So if it feels like it sees, as long as you have oil in it, just try removing the spark plug first, pull it over very gently and have a bit of tissue there. Um, I have noticed that some of my grass is now covered in oil down the bottom where it's burnt off out of the exhaust, so that grass will probably die off now. So make sure that you have it all in, your, in the motor, pull it over gently, clean the plug out. Um, you may have to change the filter because the filter is all dirty and oily, and I had to, in worst case scenario, put a new gasket and diaphragm on top of it. So that lawnmower is now up and running. I'm going to give it another run for about another 15 minutes, stopping and starting it in intervals, just to double check that there's nothing more, it's more serious going on inside it, but yeah. I don't know of any other way that oil can get into that carburetor system without tipping it up. It just it just cannot go backwards that way. So. Yeah. Terrible shame. Yeah. But hey ho, the customer is now happy they got another uh -huh. lawnmower, and hopefully they've learned their lesson. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining me and Riley on this special Easter edition of Mixed Mowers. And just to reiterate one more time to you, Doug Sweener, who is one of, without a doubt, one of my best friends who I've never met yet. Um, happy birthday to you, buddy boy. Happy um, birthday hope you've had a fantastic day and yeah. cannot wait to see you open that package that me and Riley Boy sent you. So we're going to be doing a few more videos. We've got a few more part X's coming. 
bits and pieces. The Honda HRX that I did a little while ago, that came back, funnily enough. Um, it would appear that the belt that I purchased off of eBay was actually the wrong belt and um, it was too long and it's chewed it all up. So that came back. The bloke was really understanding. I showed him the purchase that I'd, I'd made and what have it, all the conversations with the, with the dealer, um, but it's the wrong belt. Since then, I've now got a brand new belt um, that fits it absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got to try the mower out tomorrow. I'm due to cut grass tomorrow on about five or six lawns, and I've asked his permission to take the mower out and use it, um, and that will give it a proper road test as well. So, as I say, and I have always said, on mixed mowers, we are open and honest. We don't hide anything. Whether the mower is serviced or not, that's how it is listed and that's how it's sold. Any repairs that are made are either made with brand new parts or second hand parts, but the customer is always told first. We're open and honest and we do not hide a single, single thing. So, that'll do for today's video, Riley Boy. Yeah. We're going to go and uh, possibly try and get in the paddling pool now, are we? Yeah. yeah. And tomorrow, what's happening tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? Easter. It's Easter tomorrow, yeah, Easter Monday. What are we doing tomorrow, no idea? No, not doing another mixed mower video, no. No, not going to hang it down in there. Now. We are going to have, in our back garden, yeah. an Easter egg hunt. What's that? Who? It's going to be you, Ellie and Lily. What about Doug? Doug can't come over for Easter egg hunt. No, he, I he, he, he lives in America. Tell Doug about Easter egg hunt. You tell him. Doug, I want to tell you Easter hunt. Doug, he said, will you come over for our Easter egg hunt? It's yeah. A, it's a bit of a trek, to be fair, Riley, to Is expect a yeah? man to come over from the States to our house yeah. just for an Easter egg hunt. But I dare say, if he could, he would. It's your baby. Yeah. So we might even do a mixed mowers Easter egg hunt video tomorrow. Just something completely different, just to film the kids having a bit of fun. Because that's what it's about. It's about having a bit of family time. And that's what we're doing today, despite the fact we are in the shed. Yeah. Um, but these sort of things with mowers that come back, they, they eat me up inside. So I just have to get it done because I, I know that I was being honest to begin with. And, I, and I'm bang on about it. That's how passionate I am about, about this. That there's no way that, that that was my fault when that come back so anyway it's done with put it to bed finish with yeah so thank you very much for watching this episode of mixed mowers no, on no, my no. set no. okay i re i've been i sit corrected thank you very much for watching me and little riley boy on this special edition of easter mixed mowers <laughs> is that better yeah. yeah and we will catch you again on the next one but until then please please remember Take it easy.